we got some legitimate stands. Now you don't gotta worry about it falling down and killing me. So you guys saw, I got the backdrop set up. I got a light that's kind of shining down on it. Got my bike here, I'm standing off to the side. Kind of feels weird to me. Let me know in the comments if you think it's kind of weird that I'm standing off to the side, or if you think I should stand directly in front of the camera, or if I should stand over here and if I should just poke my head over. I have no idea what I'm doing. Woo, 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 woo. What's up guys? Was that too much? Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm your host KJ Romero. We missed last week, but we're back this week and that's all that matters. Today we're gonna to be talking about the V-brakes on your bike. Disc brakes are a real hot topic right now, but like I said, we're gonna be talking all V-brake. I remember when I was younger and my dad used to work on my bikes, he could never get the brakes perfect and it always pissed him off. He pretty much showed me everything I needed to know to work on my bike, but I remember when I did start working on my bike, I really focused on how to set up my brakes so that way I could set them up myself perfect every single time that I worked on my bike. There's a ton of moving parts when it comes to the V-brakes, so it can be pretty confusing. So if you're someone that is having trouble adjusting your V-brakes, this is the video for you and I'm gonna try and relay my message the best that I can. Also, I should mention that this video is indeed sponsored by Fresh Park Portable BMX Starting Gates. Fresh Park also has a whole variety of skateboard ramps and BMX ramps and they even have metal rollers. They also got a promo going on right now for 10% off of your purchase and the discount code is no school. So the kids are home, they got nothing else to do, buy them a gate, buy them a couple ramps. Just keep them on their bikes, keep them having fun. Most importantly, keep them safe. Let's jump to the bike. So no matter what kind of brake you have, disc brake, cable brake, V brake, front brake, it doesn't matter. It has to have some type of lever and that lever controls your brakes. Unless you have a coaster brake, but that really only comes on Walmart bikes and beach cruisers. On V brakes, when you pull the lever, it pinches the post together and it pinches the pads against the rim and slows down the wheel. It's important to have them set up the right way so that way they're not too tight and they're rubbing the wheel and slowing you down, but also they're not too loose to where you're having to pull the brake lever all the way in just so you can get a little bit of brake. So like I was saying, you don't want them to be too tight like this because then it'll rub and you'll come to a stop quicker than you probably should. The main goal is to have them not too far apart but also not too close so your wheel spins freely so you can see on mine this side is pretty close and then on this side is pretty even as well i try and keep them about the same so that way when i pull them they pretty much hit at the same time this side right here is a little further out this way but like I said, it's not rubbing or anything, so it should be good. I like my brakes to be pretty touchy. I know some people like to pull them about halfway before they start to feel any kind of braking. I like to know that my brakes are gonna be very responsive very quick. So the first step that I do on adjusting my brakes is this little screw right here. I like to put it about halfway in so I don't like it to be way out, but I don't like it to be screwed in all the way. So that way I have a little bit of adjustment. So if you adjusted that front screw and your brake cable to right in the middle and your brakes are rubbing, it could be a couple things. It could be this post is pulled this way, causing this pad to touch this side of the rim and making it rub. Or it could be this side, pulling it this way, causing your brakes to rub or it could even be pulling both of them in so they're both rubbing. If that's the case, that means your cable is too tight, which means you probably either need to loosen it at the cable, screwing that little screw all the way in, which will take some tension off of the cable itself, but your brakes would have already had to been really tight in order for that to happen. So if your brakes are rubbing on one side, there's a couple different ways that you can adjust that. These style brakes have springs on the bottom of them, which 
control the tension of the post themselves. And depending on the style of brake, they have a little adjustment screw, usually at the bottom. In the Speedline brakes, the adjustment screw is up at the top. And you can tighten that screw, which will make more tension on one side and pull it out or you can loosen it and it'll bring it in closer this way. If you've already messed with the screws and one side is completely tightened and the other side loose and the side that's tightened all the way is still rubbing, there's another trick that you can do to pull that pad off of the rim. Let's say that this side was rubbing the rim. You can pop out this spring, give it a little pushback like that, tuck it back in and it should pull the brakes further off of the wheel. I've run into that a few times and it works perfect. Let's say this side right here is rubbing the rim and this side is doing all the work, just like this. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna tighten the spring on this side, this bolt right here, and see if it moves it out a little bit. Don't tighten it too tight when you're adjusting them. Just give it a few turns. See, it's still kind of, still pretty loose. So give it a few more turns. That's a little better, but also you can come to this side and you can loosen the screw on this side and it should help it out a little bit as well. Okay, so now it's starting to come off a little bit it's not rubbing anymore, but it's not perfect. So let's give this side a few more turns. Give this, loosen this side a little bit more. And there we go. That's pretty good right there. I could deal with that. Okay, so now let's say that this side is all the way tight and it's still sticking to the rim a little bit. This side's doing all the work, but this bolt is tightened all the way and this side is loosened all the way. You can pop out this spring, give it a little bit of tension, not too much because you don't want to break the spring, but then you can just tuck it right back in. Give it a pull and that should adjust it pretty well. I'm good with that too. All right guys, that's it on this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. That was my quick rundown on how to set up and adjust your V-brakes. If you guys got any questions or concerns, drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, let us know in the comments below what we can do to make it better. If you have any suggestions or videos that you guys would like to see, let us know in the comments below. But if that's all you guys got for me, I'll see you next week.